Welcome back. I'm here with my dad, and today we're going to talk to you about learning during COVID. So it's important to remember that teaching is a social experience, and what the teacher does is create a social environment that enables children to learn. So during remote learning, this has been very difficult to do, and I've had to purposely do things to try to enable these interactions with the kids. They miss each other. I've had no behavior issues at all. They're just so happy to be together. Um, I've established things like a weekly share time where kids are able to share things that they want, anything that's important to them. It could be a physical object, a story that's happened to them, something they've made up, anything that they want. Um, to share with us. We give them that opportunity. I also recently now have office hours and um, I'm seeing that's turning into a social activity as well. Kids are coming just to chat, whether it's with me or with other kids on there. They just want to reach out and they want to know that someone cares about them outside of their own family. Um, the big reason that I became a teacher is because of my own third grade teacher. Her name was Mrs. Adams, Sandra Adams actually. I've always kind of liked how similar our names are. And um, Mrs. Adams made me feel so special. I knew that she cared about me, that she loved me, that um, when I got my ears pierced in third grade, she celebrated with me. When I started playing the cello, she asked me to bring it in and play for the kids. I knew that she cared about me and loved me, and she made me feel special, and I wanted to do that for other children. And that's why I started. That social aspect is so important for kids in school. So we know that it's based, that teaching is based on a relationship between the child and the teacher and between the children themselves. So that it occurs in this context of relationships and that's what becomes very important in enabling the child to learn. Studies have shown that a child who has a good relationship with other children in the classroom learn better, retain the learning longer, and are happier as they go through the educational experience. So the social, this social environment becomes an essential part of enabling children to really learn. And we have to take specific uh, measurements to ensure the um, social relationships with kids right now. It's not happening naturally. We all need to make opportunities for this. So please do what you can to help ensure your own child's social well-being. Thanks for watching.